I think it's pathetic. A human being has to construct their life. A human beings have to construct their lives all the time thinking about how to earn a living. An earthworm, a grasshopper, a bird on the tree, all of them earn their living, isn't it? With such a big brain, you're supposed to do something little different than just earn a living. Earning a living should be the most basic thing. With a millionth of your brain, you can handle it. But we have raised earning a living to the heavens today, unfortunately. Entire system is about how to earn a living, how to earn a living. This is a way of completely destroying human intelligence. This is a way of tarnishing human genius in every possible way because how to earn a living has become the greatest thing in the world. Why people are driving you in this direction is because they've built one fake economic engine which they have to feed all the time. They have to feed it all the time. Because of this, we are sacrificing our children as a fuel for this economic engine that we have built. It is time at least a niche amount of children are not concerned about how they will earn their living. When I was growing up, not for a moment I had this thought in my mind, how will I earn my living? My father used to be worried, what will happen to this boy? There is no fear in his heart about anything. One day I turned around and asked him, when did fear become a virtue? <laughs> I'm saying, we are bringing up children with this fear. If you don't pass, you know what will happen to you? Continuously fear-based education, that if you don't get this many marks, you're finished. Eighteen thousand children in 2015 have committed suicide in our country. When our children commit suicide, we must know we are doing something fundamentally wrong. There's no question about it anymore, isn't it? Children are fresh life, exuberant life. If children have to take their own lives, there is no worse thing that can happen to your society. Isn't it so? Is there, a, is there a worse thing that can happen to your society? I'm asking you, is there a worse thing? Many of you are parents, is there a worse thing than this, that your child less than twelve, thirteen years of age committed suicide? Can you ever recover from that, I'm asking? This is the ho most horrible thing that can happen. And this is happening because in our country, ninety-eight is past mark. <laughs> yes, even if you get ninety-eight, parents will ask what happened to the other two percent. <laughs> so we, as educators, if we are really responsible human beings, we need to turn this around. It's very, very important. And this is a crucial time. All these years, there has been a certain economic depravity in the society where they wouldn't listen to anything. Earning a living was everything. At least we are on a threshold of an economic possibility. This is the time to change the mentality of education. This is the time for the parents and the children to look at it little differently.